So what we're going to do today is just do a, a real quick teaching video on iron deficiency anemia secondary to pica eating cornstarch. Cornstarch, eating cornstarch can end up causing a severe anemia and that's partly why she's here today. She actually came in because she was having a migraine type headache. We treated that but then in the process we had done some labs and the hemoglobin came back at 5.8, very very low. And then the mother explained to me that we actually like to eat cornstarch. And the cornstarch, she's been eating that for, I, I saw a note back in 2018. Mm -hmm. So she's been doing it for a long time. We now understand though, as of today, that it can have severe health complications. And so besides the anemia, which is secondary to like severe iron deficiency anemia, her platelet count was like over a million. And that can cause some problems too. My young patient here actually let me look at her eyes and they're very pale. That's consistent with the severe anemia. Do you know how long that this has been going on that we've been eating cornstarch? Mm, about a good three years. A good three years? Between two and three years. Okay. And then you don't buy cornstarch, you said. Mm -mm, you never buy it. Okay. But she'll get it from her friend's house and that sort of thing, right? Yeah, she'll sneak it in, go to her friend's house, and they go to the store and get it. And corn starts too. Yeah, okay. All right. Hey, thanks so much for letting me do this video. You know, I'll mask your face, so, but this is going to help other people. This is, this is a good thing that you're doing. You're taking something bad and turning it into something good. So thank you so much. Pike is where there's an exaggerated or unnatural craving for something that is not a normal food. And sometimes when pica goes on long enough, it can cause severe anemia. You're the second teenager today that I saw that came in with a hemoglobin of, I think your hemoglobin was 5.7, the other one was 5.8. You've been eating deodorant bars and the deodorant bars have talc in them as one of the components. This has been going on for about two years, is that right? Okay. You said you go through a deodorant bar? Two to three days. Two to three, every two to three days. Okay, all right. Then today, how, how did we find out she was anemic? She went in for a vaccination? Yeah, and they did her hemoglobin. And that's how they, they stuck both of our fingers. Yeah. They seen how low it was. The hemoglobin was that low. Okay, good. So she's also been eating ice. And that's pretty normal too when you're severely iron deficient. Because her, her labs look like she's severely iron deficient. And, uh, and the only thing that I can imagine, because she doesn't have heavy periods or anything like that, she's not bleeding or anything like that, the only thing I have to assume is that it's because of what she's been eating for two years. All right. And uh, again, some people like to eat clay, some people like to eat cornstarch, some people like to eat starch, and all those for somehow interfere with iron uh, uh, absorption and can cause like severe iron deficiency anemias. It is very honorable of you to let us do this video simply because it's going to teach other teenagers out there who don't understand like this is dangerous.